I wasn't actually able to get out to the park this weekend. I was super busy with a bunch of other stuff. However, my friend uh, Mikey uh, was able to go out there and he got some footage for us because there have been some pretty large improvements that have happened. Starting off with the front entrance for Max Force, um, you can actually see that they have repainted the uh, little trestles uh, gray and red to match the color scheme. And I think they look good. Um, it's not the biggest thing, but it's kind of cool that they're keeping the old sign uh, for the Pictorium. And as we move over to the construction site, you can see the big thing for this week. Um, there have actually been trains. The trains arrived. So they're in the shed now. You can't really see them very well, but they actually have um, four cars, which is two rows per car. So those are eight rows, which means 16 riders per train instead of the 12 that were shown in the concept art, which is always good. We always need the extra throughput here at Great America because of our very long lines. Um, it looks like one train's on the track. Um, they do have two trains. Don't know where the second train is yet, but hopefully it'll come. One thing I thought was neat um, is they had these little gray uh, track pieces that were meant for shipping. And then the other thing to see over in this construction site is that the queue, the concrete for the queue has been poured. Um, it's very small. I don't know what they plan on doing because I expect this coaster to have such long lines and that, that queue looks tiny. I don't know if this is like a standby queue or like just the single rider queue or if it's the main queue. If it's the main queue is really small and I totally expect the line to be spilling out on the midways all throughout this season when this coaster finally opens. Maybe they have something else. And the final thing that happened this weekend, Wizzer is actually back open, which means that the construction site over by Wizzer is all completed. So that's always a good sign. Hopefully this coaster will be open within the next two weeks. I don't think it's gonna happen. It might be another month until it opens. I, I don't really know. I just hope it's not within the next two to four weeks because I'm actually going on vacation to Cedar Point, Kings Dominion, and Hershey Park. Uh, so if the, <laughs> if the coaster opens, then I won't be able to go to Media Day, which would suck. Thanks for watching this quick Max Force construction update. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Mikey's Instagram is in the description. Feel free to follow him and uh, stay tuned for more Max Force content.